So before we do that, we need to free up some space in our inventory because the way we meet Don Pianta, it requires us to buy some things. So I'm going to go into Zesty's shop and cook up a bunch of items that I'm never going to use so uh, I can see if they could get put into the cookbook or if they'll just get burnt into a smoldering crisp. Either or is fine with me. Let's see what happens if I give her my good old power block. Oh, doesn't look too good. Uh, unfortunately, that did not turn out quite right. Hey, it happens. Go on, take it, Stompy. We get a mistake. Zesty's failed attempt replenishes 1 FP and 1 HP. Not terrible, I guess, but not impressive. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me some stuff to cook with, okay? I mean, it is a healing item, but it's still not all that great. So we're just going to go ahead and use the mistake right now just to free up inventory space. If we give her a gradual syrup, that gets turned into a fresh juice. Huh. That's unfortunate. Same thing as a regular honey syrup. Does that mean this is going to be turned into a shroom fry then? Oh, a shroom roast. Fancy. A dish made by Zesty. Your punch is 15 HP and 5 FP. So it's kind of interesting that one of them turned into the same item over and over again, but the other one is a variety item. I don't know. Uh, let's see what we got. We do have the Volt Shroom. That, usually you just want to give her food, not like items like the Sleepy Sheep. I don't think that'll actually do anything. Maybe if we were able to combine it with another item, but we don't have that ability. Not yet, at least. Hint, hint, wink, wink. But we can't do that right now. Uh, we give her the Volt Shroom. That should be able to turn into something, probably. Hopefully. Or just blows up her entire stove. Oh, not looking good. Oh, no, it turned into something. It became a shroom fry. That, I don't know how this logic works. You become a lot more, uh, you have a lot more open opportunity once you, uh, once you have the ability to give her two cooking items. So I guess I shouldn't be too worried about doing this right, right now. It was just because I had items and I just sort of wanted to use them to free up some space. But whatever, head on over here. And if you go down here, I forgot to get, there's another star piece, as if we didn't have enough of them already. We have 28 star pieces, so we could basically get whatever we want from Dazzle's shop, but I don't think we actually want anything from her anymore. So we're just going to keep on going, head on into this shop, and what you need to do is you need to buy a dry shroom and a dizzy dial in that order, and then she's going to ask you what your favorite color is, and you need to say yellow. That is how you get into this area right here, which is where D Dom Pianta lies. So, let's go ahead and buy the dried shroom. Oh, thanks, sugar. I always love the kitty boo uh, characters. The dizzy dial. Oh, thanks, sugar. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What color is your mustache? Uh, black. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Ahem, okay, mister. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh, well, you check out. Now, you know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. And she just floats on over there. Talks to the door. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Go on with your bad self. I <laughs> like how she just like floats on back. So yeah, it's kind of funny that you could answer whatever you want for the mustache question. I'm pretty sure a lot of people who play this game, they are just too afraid to answer. They wanted to do it again. So they just uh, say yellow regardless. But it's kind of funny if you say your mustache is yellow. Uh, but yeah, we've entered uh, the back streets of... Pianta land in Rogueport. Head up these stairs. Nice little uh, railing you got there, Don Pianta. I like your decorating. And hey, here's the big cheese himself. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me, you wanna, you want me to give you a, a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me that's funny. You stand up comedian? No, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You wanna, you wanna, I should run this bum out of real boss? Look at him, what a rube. You must like being funny guy. You're just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk. No, that ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Oh. What's that? You wanna help some broad who got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things the legend about the Langer treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't 
listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am, said the wind spirit. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. Are you doing me a little a favor and you get your blimp ticket? Sound fair for a right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy, it's nothing, it's less than nothing. See, the thing is my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter Francesca and this Frankie and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and do with the what the weather known as an extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vin is right. Leave it to us to find the Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause your lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You're making complaints? Uh, no, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. Well, I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full on understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah, I'll find my daughter and a friend, then come say me. Francesca and Frankie look like a diss, I'm glad you can read my text box, I don't know how that works, but we got the money to afford readable text boxes even in the real world, which is our world, and it's a fake world in another world. By the way, why do I wear a grass skirt and suit? I have no idea, it just looks nice. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Like you won't be able to progress through the game and stuffs. Oh my god, I just gonna love these characters. But yes, now we gotta find his lost stinking daughter. Thankfully, he's not, uh, she's not too far away. They are in Rogueport, so we just gotta go ahead and explore Rogueport just a little bit more until we find her. Well, if they're trying to elope, you'd think they would be at the docks, presumably, so how's about we go check over there? Back here where we started our adventure, how wonderful. Uh, yes, this guy over here. This is an NPC that I, I was actually hoping to show off. Hey, you're Mario. Oh, yeah. Well, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? Yeah, that's what you do when you meet a celebrity. You just ask him for money. I got that guy just came on the camera and was like, what the heck are you doing? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to pro 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 prospect for oil. My God. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? Hmm. I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. I'll lend you cash. No way, bub. Now, it's actually very worth your time to give him 300 coins. You don't need to do it all right now. You could do it uh, in increments, but I'm going to go ahead and give him 200 coins right now. Thank you so much. You won't regret it. And this guy comes back. He's like, what? You're handing out free money. Let me get some of that. Go ahead and give him 200 Oh, we're so far away from getting the W emblem now, I know, but I guess we'll have to save it for another time. I don't really know what a good money grinding area in this game is exactly. Uh, were you out here before? Who, me? I'm a bit down. My older brother left porch the other day. I wonder what he's, go what he's doing now. I just hope he comes back in one piece. One piece! Okay. Um, yeah, there's... I don't really know what a good money grinding tactic is. I just, I guess just fighting enemies, but you get so little money from them, so I don't know how he got to 300 coins in the first place. It just happened over time, I suppose. And hey, look who it is. It's Frankie and Francesca. And he's blue and his name is Frankie. Hmm, I wonder if there's a connection. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something or you just like sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do when Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming in a minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk with the boss one more time. Frankie, don't say that! Don't you know what he'll do if we don't- if we do that? For Jessica, baby doll, if we could just uh, to talk like, come like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run! Let's go to the ends of the earth if we have to! 
But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. He calls her Sugar Cookie and Butter Biscuit. Another connection. Sugar Booger, Butter Biscuit, Jimbo, Jim Jam. Okay. We can't, Frankie. The more you try to put out the little flames to love, the harder they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames. A passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course, Sniff. No way, Sob Sister. I just like to imagine Mario saying that. No way, Sob Sister. What did you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? Fine, have it your way. A BK. But never, we, we will never go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. Never. Well, I guess this game's over. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and tell him, and then we'll wrap up this LP once and for all. Unfortunately, all the star pieces were for nothing, since we don't get to use them, and this game is just gonna wrap up all hunky-dory-like. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fella. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Uh, I guess I could show that he does have some new items with him, even though we can't afford any of them. The boo sheet, which is a very good item, it makes you invisible, so attacks can't hurt you for a short period of time. The timing tutor, which lets you learn the timing for stylish action command or the stylish action commands. But you got me on your side, so you don't have any need for this stinky badge. As for the badges in here, in the badge shop, there's the unsimplifier, make action commands harder, but earn more star power from them, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the power jump, which is a classic Paper Mario badge, it just increases the power of Mario's jump. Uh, do I want this? I'm not gonna equip it, so I'm just gonna not even bother. It's there though if you want it. I guess that's a good money grinding tactic now that I think about it. You could sell your badges at the badge shop, so if you want to make money quick and you have a bunch of badges that you don't use, then that's a good way to do it. I'm pretty sure it still stays in your badge catalog though, uh, even if you, save, if you sell them, so you don't have to worry about holding on to them forever just so you... Uh, keep them all. It's sort of like the cookbook. You don't need to have them all in your inventory so they stay there. So don't worry about that. They'll stay in your badge log as long as you've collected it once. Or at least I hope it works that way. But whatever, we made it back to Don Pianta's house and let's deliver the bad news to him. Or I guess we just have to tell him where they are. So I guess there's not really any bad news after all. Oh, look who's back to Provenable Mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood. So give what you got. You know the whereabouts of these two runaways. Sure do. And I'll tell you. Uh, I can't tell you that. Uh, we'll be more dramatic in this dramatic scene. Uh, maybe we'll get, unlock a secret boss fight and get extra star power or star points or whatever. Why do they have two different things called SP? It's really confusing. They both have star in the name. It's really awkward and hard to remember. What? I must be going deaf. Did you just say you, did you, did you, did you, did you, did you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me? To me? Do I look like a sucker to you? The, the mafia boss in the grass skirt? Huh? I want to, I warned you wise guy, fine, we're gonna need a mob to pick up what's left of ya. Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me boss, I'm sorry, I truly am. Frank is so back, you come head her low and with your tail between your legs. Beyonders don't have tails though, unless you count that other tail underneath our grass skirt. I'm getting ahead of myself, I probably should be talking about this. No, Danny, don't hurt him. The one who said we should elope it was me. But Frankie said no, he said we should come back and talk to you, Danny. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me, I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame right here. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough. Quiet, both of yous. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And for you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you too. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go do what you want, even if it means getting married. No, daddy! 
Dad, no, I went, I mean, boss! Thank you so much, Daddy! Thanks for your blessing! Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she won for nothing. Enough already, just go, go, go! Sniff, Mafia Sniff. For Jessica seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congratulations, both of yous! Thank you, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay. Am I right or am I right? I'm right, right? Goodbye, Danny, for your will and thank you. Uh, buddy, I know this is sort of awkward timing, but can you help a brother out? You're still here? Why are you standing on my desk for you, fool? Who are you raising a barn? Oh, well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera on soap net. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have a blimp ticket, like I said. Blimp a ticket. Oh no, that guy's got a smile on ear to ear. She's happy, so that's good. Hey, I know you were right to write for the job, man. To my right man, for the right to the right man, for the my right man, for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now leave me to watch my days of my lives in General Hospital. But I don't want to see your that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here, you here. Now get out of here, here. Oh boy! We finally got ourselves a blimp ticket and we can get out of Rogueport. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are headed to the Sky Island of Glitzville, and hopefully it'll be a lot more enjoyable than the Sky Island in One Piece. My, my, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. How's life? Mario Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seems so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you'll be you'll like Pedalberg more than you used to once you get your back from your adventure, Coops. So where are you headed next? I want to see the wide world I want you to see the wild world, son. It'll be good for you. But don't go too far past that front door. Ah ha ha ha! From Coopley. P.S. Way to ruin the dramatic tension. <laughs>